What's up guys? In this tutorial we'll write a basic program to calculate the simple interest if we are given principal number of years and the rate of interest. Okay, so I'll write here a comment saying a simple interest program. Okay, for those who do not know what's uh, how to find simple interest, uh, the formula for it is simple interest is equal to P into N into R divided by 100 where P stands for principal N for number of years R for rate of interest and SI stands for simple interest I'll write my basic structure first okay. Okay, let's define three variables for P, N and R. We'll take N, P is equal to, suppose I want the principal to be 90, N to be 2, and the rate of interest R to be equal to 8. Okay, 8. Okay, so we'll now define us SI, the variable SI for simple interest. It's P and R upon 100, so P star N star R divided by 100. I have saved this file as uh, simpleinterest.c and this source code will be available in the description section. So you can refer that. So let's just now print the simple interest as in the value. simple interest percentage d comma and si okay okay before that uh, let's manually calculate what should be the simple interest which uh, si should be equal to 90 multiplied by 2 multiplied by or uh, divided by 100 which comes out to be a yeah, uh, 90 into 2 into 8 uh, is 1440 uh, divided by 100 we get as 14.40 so let's check if we are getting this as the output execute mm, compile and run uh, uh, 14 where is that point 40 gone okay we have defined SI as int so it is a float so let's define it as float float and also we'll print here float so it should be f so now let's see if we are getting 14.40 uh, uh, it's we are getting it as a float but it's not 14.4 something 14.00000 okay yeah here's a trap uh see uh, uh, when we wrote this statement float si is equal to p star n star hundred uh p star n star r divided by hundred uh the compiler read it as p is an integer n is an integer and r is also an integer here we define it as int and again we're dividing it by integer so it by f uh, by default it throws an integer as a output as all the variables involved here are integer so it threw an output of 14 and since si was loaded so it appended 0 0.0000 after that so one way of dealing with this is instead of int p and r we'll write here float so let's see if we are now getting it as 14.40 compile and run Ah, yeah, it's 14.4 and many zeros after that. Five zeros, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, but it's something weird that we are uh, getting it as 14.4 and many zeros after that. Suppose I want that the precision should be only two digit, as in only two places after after the decimal point. So to set this precision here, after per in this percentage, after this percentage, 
you write here point two uh, for or uh, two places after the decimal point. That is a uh, precision of two. So let's see if we are getting as fourteen point four zero now. Ah, yes, we are getting it as fourteen point four zero. As in the amount is not. We take it as only two precision for amount. You don't need six precision for simple interest. Okay, suppose I wanted to keep P and an R as integer. As I'm sure that it will always be an integer. So let's keep it an integer. Another way of doing handling this is uh, divided by hundred. We are writing float SI that is simple interest is equal to P and R upon hundred. If we put here point zero. It would see these are integers, but divided by a float number, floating point number. It since we are writing as point zero, actually by default, uh, C takes it as double. Uh, if we write a decimal, a number with a decimal point like hundred point zero or hundred point one, or any any such number, by default it is taken as a uh, double. Okay, so it will produce an output. As 14.40, so we kept here as int and just appended a point zero here. So we got the same output. Okay, now suppose I need to calculate the total amount gained, as in the total amount which the customer would get back. The uh, that is principal plus the interest. We'll write here the amount, as in AMT amount is equal to P plus SI, uh, and we now know that. Uh, amount will be a floating point number, so we will define a float amount is equal to SI plus P. Okay, and now I'll print here. Print F. Amount AM amount received. A percentage F. Comma empty. Or uh, let's see the output. Okay, it's fourteen point four zero plus R ninety. So it's one hundred and four point four. Again, we we'll round it off to two decimal point as in the precision of two. So I'll write here zero point two F. Let's see now. Okay, a uh, one zero four point four zero. I'll put this on a new line so that it's better readable. Yeah, simple interest fourteen point four zero. Amount received is equal to hundred and four point forty. That is ninety plus fourteen point four zero. One zero four point forty. So yeah that's it for this tutorial see you in the next one please do subscribe to our channel like our video and do provide your suggestions for our improvement thank you